Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Doing a review today on the Two Vets Tripod, the kit. Uh, I bought this one with my own money, uh, not sponsored in any way whatsoever. I did get a healthcare worker discount, but um, that's available to uh, a multitude of people across the spectrum, first responders, military, healthcare workers, et cetera, et cetera. So I did get a 10% you know, discount, but overall I paid for this with my own money, no affiliation whatsoever. Um, I went with this for two reasons really. One is for the weight. It is three pounds, uh, five ounces and change. Uh, if it does have spiky feet that come with it, if you are in soft terrain, you really, 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 really want a stable platform, you dig those spiky feet in. So that'll add just a little bit of weight. I do not have those in right now. Uh, and then the other one is their affiliation or you know partnership with Area 419. I've become partial to their products. I have a couple of Arca rails and um, some Arca clamps and just really, really good products. This is the kit all compact. It's completely collapsed. Um, nice and slim package. It's going to fit perfectly in the size, side of my backpack. I might even be able to put the Arca rail on with my rifle going horizontal across the top and have this on the side and then my rifle won't bounce around as much when I'm rucking. So I have yet to try that, but uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And if it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. But you can see that this is fully collapsed. It has three different positions. That's the first one. Uh, if you put the clip, you pull this, um, push this tab out underneath, you go up and then you click down and you get the next shooting position. So this is the second shooting position, the second height that you can shoot from. I'll put all these different heights over here in post. I don't remember them off the top of my head. And then if you go all the way out, this is the last one, which is darn near flat. So if you're shooting prone, Without a bipod, you can definitely do that. But all these legs are quarter turns. And you can see, I quarter turned the wrong way. Uh, you can see how tall it is overall. I'm six foot tall, it's about as tall as me. Uh, the ball head is a separate purchase. I think I mentioned that. So um, there are different options, but the tripod itself is what I'm reviewing right now. The ball head, I think I'm gonna do a separate review on, but you can see how tall it is in its fully expanded position. So all the customization to get the tripod at the perfect height that you need for whatever you're doing, uh, it's really endless combinations. So I'm gonna set this up, take a couple shots, and um, we'll do our final thoughts. Here's my 6.5 Creedmoor. We're gonna slide it into the Arca rail and then it is nice and secure. Uh, if, the, if the gunshots sound a little bit louder than normal, it's because I have a new microphone that I'm trying out down here. Uh, finally, finally got a wireless microphone. So um, I've got some Aguilas, just some beater ammo. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, doing anything precise with this. I'm still working on the zero. Uh, so we're gonna just take a couple of shots. You'll see what it looks like. That was pretty good. Still messing with the zero, but uh, I need to come up and to the right a little bit, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that because like I said, this is just some beater ammo and I've kind of learned that different ammos are gonna have different points of impact. So uh, I might just leave it alone and I, I can't find any Hornady 140 grain locally. So I'm, I might have to order it, which sucks, but not the point of this video. So you could see it was pretty stable. I was able to see the target on my follow-up, I was at about 13 magnification. So it didn't really move 
too much. I know it probably looked like it was moving a bunch, but still pretty darn stable. And that's in its highest position. Um, I could use, I could go down one more. Maybe we'll take a couple of shots in the other positions as well. I think that's what we'll do. So let's load it up again. As you can see, I've got it down into the middle position. And uh, yeah, we'll just take a couple of shots, see how this goes. So definitely, definitely a little bit stabler in this position, but man, what a hell of a setup. Holy cow. This is pretty darn cool. So anyway, uh, pretty stable. I really like it. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make a separate video about the ball head, but uh, yeah, that's the two vet tripods, uh, the kit. I hope you enjoy Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.